Lou, what do we got up next? Next up is our Mint Mobile hotline question of the day. Uh, if you want to have your question heard on the show, you're going to go ahead and call this number and leave a voicemail at 951-268-4259. All right. Our Mint Mobile question of the day today comes from... Let's see who we have here. Hey, John Crew. This is Anthony from Houston. Now that there is a Flash 2 script apparently written, do you think that they recast Barry Allen or move forward with a new Flash, perhaps my personal favorite, Wally West? What do you guys think? Thank you very much, and bring on the filthy. All right, John. What do you think about this Flash news? Do you think they're going to go ahead and recast with not only a different actor, but a different Flash? Well, I mean, look. One of the things that is, I think, beyond question is that Ezra Miller will not be Flash anymore. I mean, I, I think we, we've kind of established that. I think most people know that. I mean, I suppose Warner Brothers could have a complete brain cramp and decide to re-sign Ezra Miller, in which case I'm just done with them. But I, I think it's pretty much accepted they're not going to do that. But that then raises the interesting question that you bring up is, do they recast Barry... Or do they just swap out for a Jay Garrick, for a Wally West, some other iteration of Flash? I would say this. My hope would be that they would just recast. I do not know why it is so hard for some people and studios to grasp <laughs> that you can just put another actor in. You don't have to tear up your entire you know, story Bible. You don't have to tear up your entire narrative. You know, oh, now we got to get rid of this character. We got to bring it. Just put in a different actor. It's not hard. Like everybody thinks it's going to be, whenever we, you talk about swapping out one actor for another, everybody acts like it's going to be some, you know, trans meditational mushroom induced brain warp that people go, I don't understand what's happening. That's not the same guy who played it before. Like nobody will get it. We get it. Again, listen, I go back to even one of the most recent high-profile ones when you had uh, Dumbledore. You had Richard Harris. Everybody loved Richard Harris as Dumbledore. Of course we did. And he passed away. Did they go about, oh, well, well now we got to come up with somebody else who's a headmaster. Of the no, it's Dumbledore as the headmaster. They went and got Michael Gambon. Mm -hmm. They brought him in. He did a wonderful job picking up, you know, picking up the baton for Richard Harris. And they moved on. Uh, you look at uh, Science of the Lambs, right? You They changed actresses from the first movie to the second movie. They, they changed actors. They changed Hannibal Lecter from the first movie to the second movie. Well, from the, the original movie. one, yeah. Because yeah, that was, uh, was Succession. It was Brian Cox. Oh, it was Brian Cox. Okay, yeah. it was Brian Cox. Yeah, Succession. Succession, boy. you're right. They brought him over. So he was the original one. Then they changed that again. But that was considered a new series, really. I know. But still, even within the series, they changed actresses. Look, people, look they did it with Rhodey in the MCU. People's brains didn't melt. Don Cheadle just came on screen and said, yeah, it's me. Deal with it. And then they moved on. I, I just don't think that you throw away the character because you realize too late that Ezra Miller was problematic. I, you keep the character, just change the actor. But you do have characters like Jake Garrick and Wally West and, and others like that in the world that you could explore. I would just say explore them on their own terms rather than making them a panic swap <clears throat> for all the characters. Just get a new character. to, uh, And no, it's not going to be Grant Gustin and it shouldn't be Grant Gustin. And I say that as somebody who really, really likes Grant Gustin. <laughs> but this is, a, this is a different Flash. Go out and get a new actor. I don't know. Rob, when, you, when the question is posed to you, do you think that they will either A, recast Barry or B, just bring in a completely different Flash, what do you think they will do and what do you think they should do? I think they should make it Flash 2 Arkham Asylum. Flash is incarcerated. Oh, my God. <laughs> Boom. You they shoot it on location. location. The camera's down to the prison <laughs> restaurant. shot on location. Uh, single location. You know, you've got the rogues gallery that some of them Flash put away. How fast you know? can you pick up that soap, Barry? I'm yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Uh, no, but I look, I, I think absolutely you can recast. I mean, why not? It's not like James Bond hasn't recast over the last 60 years. And and look, you know, I think that I'm mean, even the Shazam TV show when I was a kid recast Shazam. And I knew that Shazam, 
I talked about Bewitched yesterday. Darren Stevens, in the middle of the series, was recast with a different actor. The star of the show. It went on, you know. Uh, I think people would get it. And the thing is, if Flash, if the Flash 2 script is already written and Flash 1 does well, you think they're not going to make it? Of course they will. Recast the actor. You know, you know how long people will care if the movie's good? About the first five minutes. And then the, if the movie's good, they won't care. And if the actor's they, charming, they're not going to remember at all either. They're going to nope. oh, yeah, I like this exactly. guy. Exactly. That's all you have to do. I mean, honestly, that's all you have to do. And like you said, winning cures everything. If the script is great, the story's great, people, look at, did, 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 did you think, John, w w when you were watching The Batman, were you like, where's Christian Bale? No, I was thinking, where's Michael Keaton? Well, yeah. There, no, there no I go. wasn't. It was, a, it was a new thing. I was actually thinking, where's George Clooney? But that's me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of the best uh, actor swaps for the same character was when they swapped actors playing a character in the same movie. Star Wars. Wedge Antilles is sitting in the, the uh, briefing room with the, the X-Wing pilots. He's the one that Luke turns to and says... You know, we both had Womp Rats back home. They weren't much bigger than that. And then a little bit later, as they're doing the Attack Star run, Dennis Lawson is all of a sudden Wedge Antilles. And he wasn't in the earlier scene. So, like, it happens. And we're okay. We're good. So, I think they should. And I think they will just recast Ezra. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about that? When they move on from Ezra Miller, do you, they recast Barry? Or do they just change the character altogether and go with the Jay Garrick or a Wally West or one of the other ones. Whatever you guys think they're going to do, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month. And now for the plot twist. I'm just kidding. There isn't one. Mint Mobile just has premium wireless from 15 bucks a month. There's no trapping you into a two-year contract or opening the bill to find all these crazy fees. There's no luring you in with free subscriptions to streaming services that you'll forget to cancel and be charged full price for. With my old wireless provider, every month when I opened the bill, it was like playing roulette. I never knew how big the bill was going to be and it always seemed to get bigger. With Mint Mobile it's totally different. I know exactly how little I'm paying every month and there's never any surprises. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate whether you're buying for one or a family. And at Mint Mobile, families start at just two lines. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And guys, you get to use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. So transferring over couldn't be easier. So to get premium wireless from just 15 bucks a month and no unexpected plot twists, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. You'll make your wallet very happy at mintmobile.com slash campia.